My name is Don Kripal. I'm currently Director of iDetect Services with the Capital Center for Credibility Assessment, C3A. Also a member of the Converis Technical Advisory Board for iDetect. I have 30 years of federal service, all of it in the credibility assessment arena, primarily in the area of polygraph, but more recently other technologies as well. One of the chief advantages of the iDetect system is that uh, each individual can be tested in about 30 minutes and the results return in about five minutes. Which that means is that the entire process, the adding of the iDetect system, really doesn't encumber the larger process because it's so quick and so efficient. The iDetect technology actually comes at a good time because certain government agencies are experiencing congressional and presidential demands to hire a large number of agents for programs that require a polygraph. Uh, one of those organizations is Customs and Border Protection, or CBP. CBP is, has been mandated to hire thousands of agents to help secure our nation's borders. Getting those individuals through the CBP hiring process is very, very long, and a large percentage of those applicants have been found during the polygraph examination to have been involved in serious criminal activity or have drug-related problems. It might be possible to use the iDetect technology at the front of the hiring process at CBP, such as at the hiring events, to screen out individuals who are less likely to be successful in the polygraph examination. And in fact, the company I work for, C3A, has an unsolicited proposal before CBP at this moment to offer the technology specifically for this application to help them meet their hiring goals. For those agencies who have not yet had an opportunity to see the iDetect system, it's certainly worth your time to arrange a demonstration. The iDetect technology would allow your organization to streamline its processes, it will actually end up saving resources for an organization, which is always a challenge, but in the end it actually serves to protect information or protect national security in a way that previously was really not possible.